most of the developers and teams I talk to use the slowest and most expensive way of checking their application's quality. But this is just one out of the four ways production teams can ensure the application is of high quality. In this video, I will give you a framework to understand the different types of automated testing, explain the benefits and goals of each type, and also show you an option to automate the last two types of testing without any additional effort from your developers. This is through a service called Mobot, the sponsor of this video. You've probably heard of many different kinds of tests. We found that only four have proven to have a direct and sometimes immediate impact on our quality and speed of delivery. Only three of these are automated. There's unit testing, integration testing, end-to-end -end testing, and manual testing. My easy system to remember the definitions of these goes as follows. You can imagine your application divided into five lanes, user, UI, state, business logic, and backend. A test that only operates in a single lane is a unit test. A test that covers two or more more lanes is an integration test. A test that covers all the lanes is an end-to-end -end test. It's that simple. We don't need any fancy explanations or technical terms to describe these types of tests. Now you might think that adding all these tests would be time consuming, but there's a way you can start receiving the benefits of the last two forms of testing without much additional time from you or your team. It's through a service I mentioned earlier called Mobot. Instead of asking your developers to do testing or build a QA team, you can instead use mechanical robots to get the testing done for you. The awesome thing about this is, there are some scenarios that you just cannot automate through code, like opening a notification tray, making a call, or putting the app in the background. These tasks were unautomatable until now. Mobot is a QA as a service platform using real mechanical robots to automate testing on real mobile devices. If you want to start shipping faster and crushing bugs before they land in production, Mobot is offering the first 100 teams from the full stacks community a free robot powered app test. The link Link for that is in the description below. Now let's dive into our first form of automated testing, unit tests. This is a form of testing that allows you to test your code at the smallest level possible, the individual units. All software is made up of small components that together form a larger feature. There's code you can write to individually test those components. This gives you your unit tests. Unit tests are there to ensure that the individual behavior of a single object matches what you expect given a specific input. It's not about a full feature, it's more about the individual pieces of each feature. The most valuable types of unit tests that you can write are tests for your utility functions, you can test state changes, you can test your interaction between objects, you can unit test your error handling, you can unit test how your code responds to results, you can unit test the conditional execution parts, or you can unit test the testing assumptions and expectations. The second form of testing is integration testing. This form of testing allows you to test the interaction actions between your backend or device and your code. These tests use the real functionality with predetermined data to ensure that your system is interacting the way you expect it with everything outside of your current system. Unit tests can cover deterministic behaviors of your system based on predefined input and predefined responses. Integration tests help you to go outside of your system with predefined input and real responses. Testing the saving of data to the database or making a real HTTP request and seeing if your app still responds the same. The integration tests have proven to be the most valuable when you need to ensure that the backend your code is interacting with is still compatible with the version of code that you are running. If the backend changes outside of your control, then this is an important set of tests to automate. The goals of this testing is to ensure that you still have correct model synchronization. So when you interact with the backend, it's common for the backend and the frontend to have a representation of the same model. This can often get out of sync if the backend developer is separate from the frontend developer. By writing an integration test that executes a code path where data is fetched and serialized, it gives you a way to quickly check if everything is still working when a new backend update is pushed. The second goal for these integration tests is to check for backend mutations. Some functionality requires us to send data to the backend where the backend will use that and push it through our system. This often results in additional model and data changes that we assume would have happened. For instance, when creating an account for a user and expecting the backend to create a customer ID for Stripe, the integration test will allow you to check if after you've created a user that the backend also did its part of the work, regardless of their own types of unit testing on the backend. The third type of testing that we found useful that we don't often use is end-to-end -end testing. This form of testing takes your application as it is and uses it as if it was a user. The application is started and we perform touches on the screen 
read and inspect visually if the application's UI is in the state that we expect it to be. This is commonly added to reduce the time manual testers require to go through the entire app and manually check all the functionality. It takes the longest to run and also comes with the highest maintenance requirements. It takes the largest amount of effort to write the tests and an additional amount of effort to maintain them as the application grows. The goal of this is to test your user journeys. This type of testing allows you to confirm if a single user journey works end to end. The best use case of this that we have found is to take the test cases that are currently being performed manually and automate the most important ones first. The last form of testing is the most common form of testing and is also probably the most important form of testing before you even do any of the others. And this is your manual testing. This is when a person launches your application and uses all the features in your app to confirm everything still works as expected. Now, as you can imagine, this takes the longest out of all forms of testing. On average, one of our full regression tests with manual testing took between two and four days to complete. The goal of this process is to ensure that the application works as the user expects it to work. In addition to that, manual testing is a great tool to find edge cases where your application breaks or produces unexpected behaviors. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's a way to get the end-to-end -end tests and the manual testing in a much easier manner than building up a QA team or asking your engineers to use their valuable time to test the app manually. You can check in the description below where Mobot has offered the first 100 teams from the Fullstacks community a free robot-powered app test. Give it a try and let me know how it goes. I'll see you guys in the next video.